Hey guys, Canadian Hoser here, and today we're doing media hosers. I'm reviewing Ted 2, so spoilers. Leave right now. I'm giving you to the end of the intro. So yesterday I went to the theater and I saw Ted 2. And overall, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Usually when I see a movie, I go first time and just try my best to enjoy it. But this time, there was a lot of problems with this film. Uh, I honestly, a lot of it just took me right out of the film and I knew I was watching a movie. A few times I actually fell asleep and I, I kind of had to wake myself up. So, why was it like this? Well, there's a couple of reasons here. First, the intro. Uh, they did like a musical number that took like probably, I want to say it took at least five minutes, but it felt like an hour and watching a movie. That was the first problem that I had with it. The second problem was a lot of the jokes were recycled. Um, not only from the last film, which I understand you should recycle a little bit of jokes uh, from like the previous film, but not a lot like they did in this one. But the other thing they, other kind of jokes that they recycled was the same joke throughout the entire movie. You can't do that. You do that. You're going to ruin your entire movie. I know how it feels. I did, like, have you seen my YouTube channel? Like, my main channel? I recycle the same jokes in every video. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I do. Okay, that's a huge problem that a lot of directors, a lot of screenwriters do because they think it's funny and they keep doing it. Which, fine, you do it once or twice throughout the thing, like in the Avengers. How Captain America in the beginning, how he said, language, good, funny. And throughout the entire movie, they would, you know, kick it back, right? Uh, kick it back at him. Uh, anytime you'd say like, something, language, or, or whatever. They would always reference that first clip, which is fine. But when they did it in this movie, like, they did it with not one, not two, but like three different things. At least three. First of all, my main problem was the black cocks. Okay, they kept doing that. And I freaking, like, once, okay, ha, ha, ha. Second time, okay, well, whatever. Third time, oh my god, you can't be doing this. Are you freaking kidding me? Stop doing the black cocks thing, okay? That was like freaking 30 minutes ago. Enough, okay? No, no, I'm done with this, okay? Like, throw them. I wanted to walk out in the first 10 minutes. Like, I didn't, but I... The other issue I had with it, well, a lot of this stuff was just freaking stupid. The jokes were just dragged out. Like, not only that they were recycled, but seriously, like, I'm the kind of director that, like, kind of, I like to have my films shot after shot after shot after shot, fast paced. Which, you know, this is a comedy, you don't really need that fast paced stuff, so I can understand that. Action movies, more for fast paced. But that's not the only reason that they could have helped with the jokes. Like, maybe moving the camera so it wasn't this, like, camera right here. And it was it dragging out? Like for example, that one, like the one scene where like the neighbor is yelling, like the neighbor downstairs. Ted sticks his head out the window, starts yelling at the guy. They start yelling at each other, and then the neighbor starts yelling. It was so freaking long. Like, are you kidding me? Like maybe uh, instead of having that argument, stick his head out of the window, start yelling at the guy. The guy's yelling back. The other neighbors start yelling at them, and it cuts out. They should have just had that, and not even, like, as long as they had it. Maybe instead of five minutes, they could have had it one minute max, okay? Probably not even that. 30 seconds, at least 30 seconds. That's probably the most. 30 seconds, that's it, because you cannot have a shot more than 30 seconds, because it freaking sucks unless there's movement. You have to have movement. But overall, the film, maybe I'll see it again, because maybe, uh... I'm not sure. Maybe I'll watch it like once or twice more. Probably not by myself. If I'm with a few friends, they want to see it, fine. Um, but overall, it was an okay movie. By the end, they had some jokes um, that I actually really under, like really liked. But I would not consider this a comedy. I felt that it wasn't very funny. Um, and normally, with movies, I watch like movies that people hate. Like, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. A lot of people hated that. I didn't mind it. You guys are probably going to freak in the comment section that either, Hey, this guy hates Ted. This guy hates Ted. Or, this guy likes The Amazing Spider-Man 2. What an idiot. No. I, I honestly, 
I know it wasn't the best film. Uh, I know that a lot of people like the original trilogy better, which personally, I kind of like the newer one a little bit more. But nothing is going to beat Marvel's and Sony's collaboration as long as Sony doesn't screw this up. Marvel, Marvel's going to be fine. Look, we made Guardians of the Galaxy uh, a comic, a team that hardly anybody's heard of. I only knew of them because I accidentally bought the wrong comic. It said Avengers on it. I opened it up. The Avengers were in one panel. And it was like... Oops. But I read it, and it was pretty good. Like, I liked it. And when I seen they were making a Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I was excited. Why? Because I'm like... See, I can finally get more information. Uh, see how, like, the film aspect to it, because I don't like reading too much. We went from Ted... Spider-Man to Guardians of the Galaxy and just overall I would rate it six black cocks out of ten uh, It wasn't terrible. They had a lot of issues with it, but overall it was a nice film wouldn't consider it really a comedy though Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my main channel and actually some other videos on this channel Please like and subscribe